Well, good morning, Neighborhood Church. Welcome again to Read Scripture, where we start off each day by reading the Bible together online. Last Sunday during Church at Home, we discussed this very, very important reality. Everything we need to know about God's identity, character, and will for our world is found in the person of Jesus Christ. So this week, we've been exploring this idea further. We've been examining the character, the actions, and words of Jesus to see what they tell us about God. And I'd like for us to wrap up this week by examining a short but very powerful moment with Jesus that tells us so much about God. It comes from the crucifixion story of Jesus. Uh, let me set up the scene for you. Jesus came to earth, and when he did, he healed the sick. He fed the hungry. He taught us to love our neighbors. He welcomed children. He loved on outcasts and sinners. Uh, Jesus lived a radical lifestyle of love and goodness. And how did humanity respond? By killing him, by beating him to a bloody pulp, by insulting him and spitting on him, by condemning an innocent man to death, by nailing him to a wooden cross and letting him suffer a, a horrific, barbaric death that he absolutely did not deserve. The cross is a, a picture of the absolute depths of human cruelty. It's a moment of just supreme injustice. It's really a snapshot of how broken this world truly is. It was an act of pure, unfiltered evil. And how does Jesus respond? Let's look in Luke's biography of Jesus. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Jesus endures the worst of what humanity has to offer. Our absolute darkness and depravity. And what does he do? He meets that moment with grace. He responds to hate with love. He expresses a desire that we would not receive the consequences we deserve for our heinous acts. It's an absolute insane moment of mercy, and it has huge implications on how we view God. You see, at, at this moment in the story, but also in so many moments in our day-to-day -day collective lives, God meets our dysfunction with an everlasting, ever-enduring, never-tiring love. So for those of you who grew up with this picture of God as the angry God who's, who's out to get you and wants to punish you and give you what you deserve, just take a look at this moment. Even this moment of pure evil and hatred is met with love and mercy. I mean, God has all the power in the universe. He could have destroyed the whole earth or exacted some sort of holy vengeance on humanity, but instead he offered forgiveness and love. It's hard for me to wrap my brain around it sometimes when I think about it. Because you see, we hold grudges over the most petty nonsense. We struggle to forgive those who who hurt us, and we oftentimes lash out at people who just mildly inconvenience us. But see, we're living in a fantasy when we project our own short fuse onto God. God isn't like us. He isn't petty or vindictive. He personally endures the worst of what humanity has to offer, but he always remains loving, inviting, he's always restoring. This, my friends, is the God we follow. This is the great news we believe. This is the hope we have to share with the world around us. So as we head into the weekend, I want you to reflect on this and remember above all else, through Jesus, we see that God loves us, He is with us, and He is for us. Hey, I hope you have a great weekend. We've been having a lot of fun doing these Read Scripture videos with you online. Next week, we're going to change it up a little bit. We are changing the name of Read Scripture to NCAM. We're going to be doing these morning devotionals every single day. I'm so excited to continue hanging out with you. So I will see you Monday morning for NCAM.